Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Ruger American Compact in 45 ACP. This is actually a new release to the Ruger American line and what makes this different is that it comes with a gray Cerakote frame and slide. And I think it looks super cool. It's the same setup as the other Ruger American Compact in 45, except it has a Cerakote gray that did not raise the MSRP. 579, which is the same MSRP as the all black model that Ruger is offering with this gray model. It also comes with a additional model that has a thumb safety. This is called the Pro model, so it does not have a thumb safety. Now, Last week I reviewed the Ruger American Competition and this is a new release from Ruger as well. This has a five inch barrel, lightning cuts there, fiber optic front sight, adjustable rear sights, a nice texturing on the grip and 17 round magazines. And many people showed interest in this. It has a great feel to it and I'm working on a range review. But this video has to do with this model. And I think Ruger did a very nice job. Now there is one more thing that is different with this and the all black model. And that is the three mags offered in the case. The all black model offers a seven round and a 10 round mag. This model offers three seven round magazines. Now you can see this one here has an extended base plate. This one's a flat base plate. The case offers extensions with all of them if that's what you want now i will say with this flat one it still offers three figure contact with my average size hands so i think that's pretty cool and a nice touch to offer three seven round magazines it still has the grip modules that we're used to with the american line and i like that two others in the case along with the one installed and the way that looks against the the gray I think it's pretty nice. But the one out of the case fit me just fine. The pick rail remains right there as, as we're used to. Sight hole indicator, three dot Novak sights, all right? And a trigger that I'm measuring right around five and a half pounds, okay? It does have trigger bar safety. And we're looking right there for the reset. It's a nice package and I do like this gray. I think it offers something a little different. It comes from the factory that way. It's nothing that you have to do afterward and three seven round magazines is a nice touch without actually raising the MSRP. So I think Ruger did a nice job with this. Now I took it to the range already, put a variety of loads through it. Let's go ahead and roll through some of that footage. We'll come back and talk more about it. Here we have Barneau steel case loads, 15 yards. Gonna try one handed here. No problem, fed through them all. 30 yards back, I've got the American Compact in 45. Let's see how it does. Seems like I do better with the plate on the left. Let's try that right here. Oh, we'll go back to the right. There we go. Here are seven rounds, 230 grain, defensive loads, Ruger American Compact, and 45. Disassembling the American Compact and 45 ACP is the same as the other guns in the Ruger line. We're gonna lock the slide back, push this lever down, and then without any need to pull the trigger, off comes the slide. And there's what we're looking at with the glass filled nylon frame. And it has a dual recoil spring and a 3.75 inch barrel. And you can see that it is, has been Cerakoted all throughout 
the internal of the slide and the frame. So the, the entire gun has been Cerakoted, but I really did enjoy it at the range. You know, I was actually quite surprised at the accuracy. I hope I demonstrated that with my shooting portions of this video. It is a nice handgun. You know, the, the gray, the way I look at it is that the gray Cerakote that makes it look super cool is a bonus. But I do like the way it shoots, and that's what's most important. Now, the 3.75 inch barrel, the nice trigger setup, the three seven round magazines, with a price that I find fairly attractive. You know, you're looking at for the all black model. I, I studied this. I, I went online. I'm looking at right around 430 to 460 on average. I think this is going to be right around that same cost. But there it is. Is it a new release? Well, it's not a new release handgun, but it's, it has new release features from Ruger, and I think a lot of people are going to like it. And honestly, I would choose the all-gray model over the black model because I just think it looks super cool. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.